three of them went for touchdowns. So big production there, and they'll throw on first down. And a long ball, wide open, caught at the 40. And this one is going to go the distance for a Georgia Tech touchdown. How do you do it on first and 10? Their first play from scrimmage. And there's your touchdown. And that's where he grew up. When Katrina, Hurricane Katrina, came in a few years ago, his family fled ahead of that. They were headed for Houston, but all the roads were blocked off. They made it to Atlanta. Their own five-yard line. And there's a toss, and far side still running. That's Roddy Jones up the sideline for a Yellow Jacket first down. Tech. And that play gets a couple up the middle. But in the first play from scrimmage in their first possession, now this drive starts deep. And they'll toss again, and there's another relatively positive gain. They have some receivers to get the ball to. Washington under center, another toss the same way to Ronnie Jones. That time, he only gets a yard or two, but it's... And a sack, number one. Washington hands off and room up the middle as David Sims' David philosophy right now is Georgia Tech is keeping Middle Tennessee State's offense off the field. The Tech offense, this time they haven't thrown, but they've gotten the ball past midfield. Now, there's another toss. That's to Roddy Jones again. Gets outside, now tries to turn back in. Repeat plays until the defense stops it. Hand off to the first back through. Lots of running room up the middle. First and ten. And they get a little bit running up the middle. Last year. Washington hands off again to Lions, and again the good push. But they are moving closer on this drive. And there's Lions again, who this time gets wrapped up. So this is first down and ten. And it's a quarterback keep. And it looks like Kevin Washington down. Just outside the five. And Washington tries to follow his blockers. That time there was no hole. It's on two-yard line. And Washington calls his number again, falls ahead, but in the backfield. And that's Sims. Washington keeps and looks like he got enough. Washington keeps and hits the end zone for another Georgia Tech touchdown. Washington will stop and throw this time. Deep, Deep ball down the middle. That one under throw, but caught. Still on his feet. This could go all the way. Another catch. Stephen Hill, the touchdown for the Yellow Jackets. They have owned this ball game from the minute that Tevin Washington took the first snap and threw it 73 yards. Now he'll option. And they get positive yardage all the way out to about the 20 against Middle Tennessee State. And they grind it up the middle, second and four. So we'll see what the Yellow Jackets come up here with a lot of opportunities. Washington tosses, and successfully, but all a good tackle there. And here's Washington set to throw again. Another deep ball down the middle. That one caught as well at about the 25-yard line. Here inside the 30-yard line of the Blue Raiders. Hand off and a run out and a tackle there, but deep. And Sims gets it down to about the six. Now he's pushed back and lost his helmet. And Washington's going to run the option and keep it inside the five. Another Yellow Jacket touchdown. His second rushing touchdown. The Yellow Jackets now on first and 10 from their own 21. And there's a fumble. This time it's recovered by the offensive team as Tevin Washington first down. And Washington will drop back and throw far side. Between the runners, the slot backs, and the, the B-backs. Exception. Another deep throw down the middle, the sideline this time. That one's knocked away. Raiders on the scoreboard. Washington keeps and gets wrapped up. Terrific job. Oh, another tackle in the backfield. And they brought him down. 
but Johan, no whistle. Johan Finnell was the one who put him down. Boy, his knee hit the turf. For Middle Tennessee State, getting behind him on third and 12. And play is blown dead before the snap. This will be a procedure penalty. Right guard, false start. Third down. But uh, at least the crowd is engaged now on third and 12. As Washington keeps and tosses at the last minute, almost enough for a first down. Looks like it's good enough. The pitch man, and he runs down for the first. Caught and pushed out immediately. Off on third down on the last down, but he didn't. Washington's going to throw again here on first down. And the comeback route ball is incomplete. You'd think that this game was on the line still every working. down. Still work. And they're still going to throw. Washington a high, deep ball, jump ball, picked off. Nope, they say it's incomplete. 360 yards of offense already in this first half. Third and 15. Washington cannot escape the pressure. Coach Johnson. And they hand off on first down. And David Sims is. So second and long. And about the 16, there's a toss and a good one. And big yardage for a first down all the way out to the 30-yard line. His team motivated in the second half. He was a little disappointed in the way they finished the uh, second quarter, so you can bet he lit a fire under them. Georgia Tech offense, the triple option offense, and he'll take some shots downfield with, with Kevin Washington, which is a new feature in this offense. So this is first and 10. And again, the Yellow Jackets. So this is second and seven. And again, they hand off the running back still on his feet. Inside the 40, David Sims inside with maybe faster athletes. But when you're getting beat inside, that's a real big chore for your defense. This time they stack it up for sense. Second and long, there's the toss, and a lot of space to run for Stephen Hill inside the 20. And there's a handoff, and maybe a gain of a couple of yards. Then they could from the backfield. Second down and seven. And Washington tossing outside there to Ronnie Jones, still on his feet, and up all the way down to the five-yard line. Have tinkered with their offense enough to... Get to the five-yard line. There's a flag down, but Washington makes about a two-yard pickup. Offsides, defense, number 46, line up in the neutral zone. Half the distance to the goal, replay first down. So far here in the first game and a half of 2011. Washington tosses far side. Smith for a touchdown for Georgia Tech. Or win Smith, the junior. Can't take him anywhere, can we? That's a John. sampling, yes. I mean, get a napkin for this guy. There's something at top. No surprise with Sinjin Days coming in with a comfortable lead. There's a handoff and in defense can play as a starting group, and now we're seeing the backup quarterback play. And Sinjin keeps it himself and gets right to the first down marker. The NFL, you have preseason games to do that. So this is a great opportunity for them to get some other players out there. Everything's been working the way Paul Johnson has wanted it to. Days will drop back and keep, boy, that is good running there to get out of the pocket at the football, third and short. And Days just keeps it and stays on his feet, almost breaks it for big yardage. Back at standards, John. But they are hitting on all cylinders, and here's Days on his feet down to the five. Sinjin Days ready to put up some numbers as well. This time he's on his feet and in the end zone for a Georgia Tech touchdown. Georgia Tech. Well, the defensive unit by El Gro. They were not very good last year. Right now they're showing signs of being much improved defense, and there's a bump. And they give it right back. <laughs> so much for the... Days keeps it. Boy, he gets met right at the line of scrimmage by Corey Carmichael. And flag on the play. We can't really put him on camera yet. Personal foul, Personal foul. chop block, number 70 of the offense. Half the distance to the goal from the line of scrimmage. Replay second down. 
at about the 13 yard line and days will drop back and he'll run and he'll run fairly successfully stays on his feet gets out to about the 25 yard line nice and there's a toss and days giving it up and starting off the game middle linebacker being caught up on tony zen and i don't get that batch up they are in control here moving towards midfield and there's a long run again to 10 inside the 45 days will try to keep in get some yardage but uh, doesn't get too much long time but they they hung in there but this georgia tech offense again so sharp early as you see zenin try to carry it outside And Days will get buried in the backfield. Probably regret this one, too. This will set the defense back. They just get a, and this game is over. Zenon gets the corner, and he gets it up for a first down to about the 32-yard line with the Georgia Tech offense's second unit. Not a huge drop-off at all as they go to about the 28th. Football presented by Sprints. And they go on the end again, still on his feet, pushed out at the 15 yard line reggie watney so at the 15 they try to push it up the middle fourth quarter and they toss to zenin at the 10 to about the five they start at the five and days will stay on his feet to about the two days before he gets keeper. shoved back you find back-to-back -back games where the Yellow Jackets had at least 500 yards of offense and they have done that and days will just pile over and get another touchdown Nays for Nays Georgia Nays Tech, touchdown Tech. So, so days will wind up and throw deep down the far sideline just a little too far quarter out of it it's only a one touchdown game, but the problem is the Yellow Jackets were so ferocious early and getting those three touchdowns. They're going to be very good. Days will roll out with blockers. And that's and nothing new, Dan. Right. You, know, that's, that's you say that every new. year, don't you? <laughs> 